Here I just want to go through a really cool technique that can extract insight uh, dynamically that has historically been quite difficult to discover. And that is uh, analyzing things on average per, per day. So if we run through what the data model looks like just quickly so we can get an understanding of what, um, what we're dealing with here. We're dealing with an organization um, that's making sales. They make them on any particular day to any particular customer, a uh, uh, range of different products and they can sell in a range of different regions. So we can, with this current model and uh, with one of the measures we've created at the moment, we can analyze, say in this case, our total sales by customer, like so. So if we turn this into a visualization, we can have a look at what our best selling customers are down to our worst selling customers, etc., etc. What we might want to do in this instance is instead of looking at total sales, we might want to look at this by, on average, how many sales we make per day uh, for these particular customers. And on top of that, we might actually want to dynamically look at particular months and see how, on average, how much we're selling to customers um, um, this month versus, versus last month. And so, and so on and so forth. So this is how you actually do it. And it's not too difficult, not too difficult at all. We've got our uh, core measure, which is total sales, um, of uh, which is sum of total revenue. So now what we need to do is we need to somehow, for every single customer, iterate through every single day and then average the uh, sales amount um, for, for, for those particular customers over that entire duration. So the way we do this is we need to use uh, average X and also the values function. So if I call this average sales per day, we need to go equals, and then we need to go average X because we need this iterating function. We need average X um, to iterate through every single date. And then I'm gonna go values, and then I'm gonna put my date column in there. And this, this is how we iterate through every single day because what values does is it creates a virtual table of just this column and then it says in the current context which is um, you know a particular customer iterate through every single day and then average up all of those um, and all of those in this case sums for the particular day so we're going uh, for every single day calculate the total sales and then once we've calculated all of those average them and so if I push enter here, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy and paste this. I'm going to bring my average sales per day into that visualization. And then now we can see on average how much we sell per day um, to each particular customer. Now we can put some, um, some data labels in here. And what we can also do, which is really cool, is I'll get rid of, I'll get rid of this one we can actually also change the time frame now. So we could say, well, let's, let's have a look at our month and year here. And we can look, we can select, we can select a different time frame and then see how, um, how our customers have gone per day in each of these different um, months and years in this case. But we could do any time frame here. It's a, it's, um, it's a dynamic way to look at this calculation. So let's just quickly review what, what is actually happening here. So, if I turn this into a table, it might make a little bit more sense. So what's happening is that every single result here is calculated individually. So what's happening is in this particular result, we're saying for Burt's Corp, iterate through every single day within January 2015, because we have this selected, and calculate for every single day the total sales that has occurred. Then once all of those are saved into memory, go and average them all up. And that's what this average X does. And then that average is this answer that we're getting. And then it does it again, 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 again for each of these different customers. And that's why when we change the context, we actually get different results because it's only iterating through a different amount, different days, a different amount of days. So if we have nothing selected, it's actually iterating through absolutely every single day that we have in our table, in our date table. But if we're selecting one, it's only iterating through 31 in this case, which is January 2015. Now, look, check this out. Check, this is also seriously cool. We can actually, instead of having our customer there, we can use this exact same formula against a different dimension. So let's have, let's have a look at what the average sales per day is for, for each city. And again, it's dynamic. And we could do it again, we could do it again against any dimension that we have, exactly the same 
uh, formula uh, will work, will work perfectly for all of those different dimensions. And that's the power of DAX, right? You know, you don't have to write ridiculously long formulas just to get, um, you know, these really quick answers. We can compare and, um, and, and get these answers with just one really simple formula with a well set out data model and all we've got to do is drag and drop into the correct, um, into, into a dimension that we want to analyze. So that's averages per day, really simple stuff, right? Um, and really powerful stuff. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.